How to find the missing angle in an isosceles triangle. Alright, the first thing we need to do is find the angles that are given. Now, remember that an isosceles triangle has two angles that are equal. Okay? So, in this picture, since these sides are the ones that are equal, that means the angles next to them have to be equal. So, if I'm told that this is 64 degrees here, that means this one has to be 64 as well. Okay? We need to find this angle. Alright, so now all, so you simply have to subtract the angles that you know from 180 because remember that the sum of all the internal angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees. Alrighty, so now I just substitute right here 180 minus 64 minus 64 and our missing angle is then 52 degrees. And that completes our problem.